Hello and welcome to the Photoshop Planet. Today I'm going to show you how to make a ray of light in Photoshop. Just like in this picture. It adds a little more dynamic to your picture. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's just really cool. So what you're going to do first, you're going to go on your Google, go into your images, and you're going to look up something like, um, let's Let's get a church. How about a church? Church is good. Churches are full of light and religion and tanks. Nah, no, let's not do a church. <laughs> That's not really original, is it? Instead, let's do a um a uh, A, hmm. um, yeah, let's do this picture. This picture looks good. Okay, what you're going to do, just going to drag that onto your desktop, of course, and then you're going to open it in Photoshop, of course, and from there, this is going to be really easy and really simple, so if you get lost, I feel sorry for you because it's easy. What you want to do is make a new layer, have your polygon tool, polygon lasso tool selected, pick a spot, let's say around right here above your picture, and just start clicking downwards all the way to the bottom. Make that line stretch, go back up. It's basically you're making a giant triangle. Once you have that done and ready, make sure your color tool palette is selected at white because it's a ray of light. And when you think of light, you think of white and, you know, it works. So what you're going to do next is where your paint bucket tool is. If you hold your mouse down long enough, it'll come up with two other options. And when it's select your granite tool, from there up here, you got this whole new menu bar where you can change the effect of it, the radius and things but you want to keep it right here where it's the linear granite and you want to have it as the foreground transparent once you have those selected start at the top of your polygon last little tool selected area click and drag all the way down and then release you're only halfway there from there select your polygon lasso tool and deselect that layer Ta-da! It's not done just yet though. What you want to do is go to your filter, go into the or blur, and hit the Gaussian blur. And from there, you can determine how much light you want reflected off of it. If you want it more sharp, I personally go for the ones more like in the 20, 30 range. Kind of like that. And just hit OK, and the effect is done. It's really easy, really simple, and it's fun to do. So I hope you liked it. Rate, comment, any questions, just ask below. Thank you for watching.